Um, the first two innings, I was, you know, nervous as kind of a given. Um, and I was kind of guiding the ball, you know, and, and uh, but going out in the third inning after walking Ichiro, I, I kind of just told myself, I, I got to start throwing the ball or I'm not going to make it. So I just, you know, I started to throw like, I, like I've been throwing and, and, you know, I got to see some great plays out there and, and here I am seven innings through. Ron Guidry visited you after that second walk in the third and you got a double play right after. What did he tell you? Well, it, it's when he came, it was more of a, uh, like a pause, give me, I guess I was rushing. You know, I have a tendency to do that, get overexcited, and, and that's what he saw. And he came out, gave me a little breather, and, you know, I think the second pitch got a you know, fastball in on a guy, ground ball, double play. It looked like your fastball had pretty good movement and you were using your changeup so effectively. What was working best from your standpoint? Um, I got my fastball head. That's usually, you know, what I have trouble with, and I was able to get that fastball down and and get that change up in that in that uh, little sweep and slider over and, and get some fly balls. The majority of the outs I got today tonight were out or fly ball out. So just throwing fastballs down. Matt, they say when a, when a major league team sees a young pitcher second or third time through the lineup, they now, they now know what you're throwing. But it seemed like as the game went on. You were still getting them, you would still show them different stuff as the game went on. Yeah, I mean, I, only, I threw about three or four curveballs. That was uh, a different pitch that I incorporated as the as the game progressed. But uh, uh, Posada, he uh, he did a great job calling, you know, and and I moved the ball in my fastball in and out and got my change up over for strikes. And like I said, I got them to pop the ball up. I'm sure you've seen the play at second base, and that was really the matter of you. Lo losing this win right there, he was out at second. The replay showed it. How yeah. disappointing is that for you? You know what? I I just got told uh, that I'm pitching Saturday. That's I'm I'm just glad to be able to come back and throw my second game. And you know what? Uh, maybe Saturday in Seattle, I'll have the opportunity to get the win then. So it's no big deal. What's that feeling like to come through your first major league start and immediately afterwards be told, "Hey, you're going to get a second chance too." Oh, it's a relief, you know. You go into the uh, your first start, and you're thinking, "What's it going to be?" You know, especially uh, this is my first time in Yankee Stadium. <laughs> is a you know, you know, it's pretty crazy, and uh, you know, just uh, getting through seven innings is surprising. You know, I'm probably not going to be able to sleep tonight, and and it's just amazing, you know, that and it's crazy that you know tonight happened. It, it, I was like a a little kid out there you know I got to see I got to see uh, Jeter make a great play in the hole and I got to see you know uh, Damon save save a double you know catch over his head and I got to see Mariano Rivera come out and pitch so you know I'm right now I'm like a little kid there's been a triple-a infusion here as if you haven't noticed Daryl Razzer and Phil Hughes especially did either one of them talk to you before this one yeah you know they told me to you know pitch my game uh, and and go at guys you know sometimes you know what they were emphasizing is that uh, younger guys uh, come up and, and they try to you know maybe overthrow a uh, overthrow a ball or try to impress and and just emphasize hey stay stay within yourself play, pitch your game you know and and that's what I did and stayed within my boundaries and I threw a decent game